Thomas. Now you guys are playing the Cool House tonight mm -hmm. and tomorrow night, back-to-back -back shows, and you're saying Oshawa. How's yeah. the tour going? I know it just started. Are you excited to be back on the road, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've had a few weeks off, and it's uh, nice to be starting back up, especially here in Toronto, in your hometown. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> now let's talk with this. So your album, it's been out for some time now, One X, but it's your most successful album to date, which is pretty amazing stuff. Yeah. What does it feel like? Because yeah. you guys have been together for a long time and working your butts off, so... Yeah, we've been, I mean, we've been together for like 14 years now, so uh, to have a record doing fairly well, it's, it's, it's amazing. We can ask for anything. Come on, fairly well. You can say it's doing really well. Come on. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's, it's doing well. We're happy about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're on tour now. Now, you've traveled all over the world, obviously, you know, playing concerts and shows. So you do a lot of interviews. You know, you come to much music when you're here. But do you, have you ever had, like, a really bad interview? Yeah, there's some pretty bad ones. Yeah? Well. Yeah, you know. Like, awkward know. or weird? Yeah, just people that don't do their homework, I guess. Uh-huh. You know? And uh, ask you stupid questions? Yeah, the stupid question factor, you know, is pretty high sometimes, but What's never it? here. The, the interviews here oh, are always top You're just saying that because you're on. <laughs> yeah, no, it's always good here. You know, it's weird. We, a lot of uh, radio station DJs in the U.S., I mean, they always kind of fire the same questions at us, you know, talk about being Canadian and talk about hockey and how we say A all the time, and that gets a little bit tiring. You're like, come on, come up with something better. Exactly. Come up with something about our music, at least, right? Yeah. Read the yeah. lyrics. Exactly. Listen to the music. Totally. Okay, so I read a list. Now, obviously, you're on tour with Seether right now. Mm -hmm. You guys good friends? You get along well on tour? Yeah. 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 Get along well. Okay, so there was, like, a list of your favorite things of 2007, and you said your favorite song. Your number one favorite song was Fake It by Seether. So why is that? Why do you love that song? It's a great song. I mean, they're, they're good songwriters, and they're, and they're a great band, and they're great guys so you know the new see the record is awesome it's really great and we've been listening to it a lot and it's just uh it's cool yeah, yeah do you have a favorite album now 2007 uh you pick one it's sometimes hard to pick just this one, is one right? of those questions that i was just that talking about man. yeah don't no. say that okay we'll go to an audience question no, then just kidding. no you don't have to answer it mercedes has a question let's let the fans ask you stuff mercedes what's your question for the hey guy? neil um this is for you, Neil. Um, I was just wondering, we found out that you just recently had a baby, and we were wondering how it feels to be a father. Oh, it's awesome. That's awesome. Like, uh, we've had a month off, so I, I, we live in Toronto, actually, so uh, just have some time off and uh, do the family thing and be around the house is, is really cool. It's, uh, you know, like, we go away for a couple weeks at a time, and you realize pretty quickly how fast, uh, how fast I grow up. So, yeah, it's a life-changing experience, but it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of fun. It puts, uh, puts life itself into perspective, you know, for sure. Do you find that? Because obviously when you're away for such a long period of time, is it weird when you go back home? Well, you know, I don't, I don't think it's weird. I mean, you're, when you're on the road, you're always looking forward to getting home. Uh -huh. Sometimes when you're home for a long period of time, you're looking forward to playing shows again. So it's always different about getting home and being home and relaxing. It's always great. It's a great feeling. Now, are you writing right now? Yeah, we're always writing. Always writing when always, you're on the road? Yeah. doesn't matter where you are? Not really. No, we okay. got some, you know, we got a setup in the bus, and we're always mm -hmm. playing guitars and stuff. So, yeah. so new album? Do you have any ideas of when you're going to start working on it? or? Uh, yeah, well, we, uh, we're done April 1st is the first, is the end of the tour. Okay. It's, e it's either the end of the tour or someone's playing an April Fool's <laughs> joke on us, but, uh, but, uh, you know, like, we've already, already done a lot of writing, and, uh, when we get home, we're, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time, probably, you know, get out of Toronto and get up into, like, you know, cottage country, and nowhere. just, yeah, that's what we did last time, and it really worked for us, just sitting with some acoustics and hanging out, and, Kind of reconnect, um, probably. Right? Yeah, yeah, like, time really doesn't, isn't really a factor up there, and, and it just kind of creates a really nice, uh, you know, creative element that we need to, to get the record done. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, right now we're going to check out your latest video, Never Too Late, for some three days grace. <laughs>